After graduating seven seniors last season, there was a bit of uncertainty if the Mosley girls soccer team could live up to its 15 wins and region semifinal appearance the year prior. Hindsight, of course, is 2020, but looking at the Dolphins now, it's clear to see they should have never been doubted. Mosley wrapped up its regular season with a near 90% winning percentage at 10-1-1, their sole loss coming to one of the best teams in the state, South Walton. The Dolphins have outscored their opponents 42 goals to just 9 through 12 games. For the second year in a row, Mosley is led on offense by junior striker Zamaya Hill, who's averaging over two goals per game. But the anchor of the team is the veteran defense that's made life easy by shutting opponents down in 50% of their regular season games. The Dolphins earned a first round bye as they're currently ranked fourth in their class and they will begin districts next week. Their lineup waiting to get back to full strength. I think we definitely could do, we, I didn't think we expected to do as well in our district as we did, but now going into it, we definitely needed this week of rest because we were all kind of like injured and wobbly last week, but now this rest week and then we'll be really coming on strong next week. We're ready to get up and going. You know, it's an awkward time period to have a week between our last games with us playing Childs on last Thursday and now we have a whole week in between. It's good to get some rest from our regular season and get some players back up who were hurt, but we're definitely itching to start on the road. We're already looking ahead because we plan to win our next games and we plan on winning districts and we think we have a run at state, so we're already looking steps ahead. Mosley will await the winner of Leon and Crestview that's set to be played on Thursday. The semifinal match at Tommy Oliver Stadium will be played on Monday, January 30th.